get myself cursing on camera. That'd be really adorable. <sighs> what am I doing? I am filming a video because I look really cute right now. I'm like, feel put together, so might as well. Hello to the abyss. We're doing a book corner. Okay, just a few books that I've read recently and thought I'd tell you some thoughts or if you should like waste your time with them. First one, Catcher in the Rye. I actually read this a few months ago and I just need to talk about my uh, strong dislike of this book. <clears throat> I read it a few months ago and I was like super excited because it's a classic and I was like okay I can't wait to read it. I was really diving into the classics in the past few months so I was like party let's go. And I read it. And I did not like it at all. I thought, and also there's like the secret premise of the main character. Oh, spoiler alert. If you haven't read the book and you don't want it to be spoiled, stop now. The premise of the book is from the main character being in a mental institution and like retelling the story of his teenage years. I don't believe that. I didn't get that. I, it was it. People are like, it's in the first few pages. Wrong. I've read them. And I was like, I see no connection. Mm, but okay. But just the whole thing, I was like, you are so whiny. Get over it. We all have our teenage problems. Like, I get it. I was there. I struggled. But oh my god, he was like struggling. Struggle City. So, yeah, if you just want to read about a hormonal teenage boy who just hates his life and hates everything around him, this is the book for you. What should I do next? Let's do some poetry. Hope this reaches her in time, which is by R.H. Sin. I want to say Sign, but that's probably not correct. But yeah, you're great. I have a couple other of his books and I really enjoy them. And this was $4. And I feel like it's still that price on Amazon. You should definitely buy it because it's it's got some good little gems in it. So if you're up for some angsty poetry in your life where you need to like expel something, just, just you got it. Next, let's skip over to a little horror. Horror. <laughs> Five straight minutes of me just being an idiot. Ooh. Next book that I'm going to talk about is um, Pet Saratim. <laughs> Next book that I'm going to talk about is Pet Cemetery by Stephen King. Okay, here's the deal. I read. Um, Stephen King's latest trilogy um, a few months back and I was like oh, I'm not really super impressed I mean I read all three and it was interesting to see the plot develop but I wasn't blown away by his writing style sorry but then I purchased this because my mom was like hey this is the scariest book I've ever read in my life and I was like sign me the heck up and I started reading it and I was like what have I done? It is so, it's very enthralling. Like you just don't really want to put it down. You just want to figure out what's happening next. And then you kind of see what's happening next. And you're like, wait, go, go back. Wait, this is a bad plan. I don't want it anymore. It's really good. It's really creepy. Yeah, I really enjoyed it. Even though I don't like horror at all. Um, movies or books, I'm not really a big fan because I'm a big scaredy cat. Uh, I thought it was fabulous and I would definitely recommend it to you if you enjoy kind of a suspenseful, creepy, okay, super creepy uh, book situation. Oh. <clears throat> so the next book is actually a friend of mine who published 
her book of poetry and I'm so proud of her and it's freaking awesome and it's called Everything at Once and it's by Audrey Emmett. She is a budding young poet and basically there's three sections in the book. Um, dreaming, remembering, and awakening, and it's basically great. It's super, super great. It's very much so, I feel like, about finding herself and somewhat in other people and then realizing, like, I'm my own person, but not, like, one of those, like, oh, she's, like, finding herself, but, like, I don't know. <laughs> it's just really beautiful work and like I really connected to it and she's a very talented writer. You should definitely purchase it on Amazon. Shout out because it's so good. What else? BRB. Oh, it's so far away. It's in the other room. And we're back. This last book here is, I'm actually not quite finished with it yet, but it is called From Here to Eternity by Is it Cat Doty? I think it's Doty. I feel like I would I don't want to mispronounce people's names, but it's like there she is. Caitlin! Caitlin! Oh, focus. You can do it. I believe in you, Caitlin Doty. Okay. I just want to include this one as well. It's From Here to Eternity, and it basically is um, about how different cultures deal with their um, deceased. And it's very interesting. So, um, read about Colorado and how they have like a pyre, which helps with cremations of people. Just read about Barcelona, which has a really high tech. Um, interesting funeral home. <laughs> I was attracted to the cover. It's shiny. But it's actually a fantastic book. She has a great sense of humor, so that really lightens the mood of talking about death and mortality, which I appreciate. Yeah, it's great. It's very factual and interesting. And if you're interested in learning about how people bury their dead, Hit it up. Okay, kids. That's all for today. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you later.